Hello, everybody! Today for Fairy Tales, we're gonna see how I draw Little Red Riding Hood. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, new series, new series. I'm trying this out to see how it goes. I ran out of things to draw. Well, I mean, I didn't run out of things to draw, but I want to try to do something that's not copywritten and everything else we're doing has copyrights. In other words, someone else owns it. Star Wars, you know, Wizard of Oz, that kind of thing. So I'm trying to find something that's a little bit more, like, a little bit more freedom, you know? Um, so, I, that's what I figure, it's like wizard, not wizard of us, uh, fairy tales. And so, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna run around and see what we do here and see what, what comes of it. But, uh, yeah, I thought Little Red Riding Hood, that's a great one. Let's, let's start off with that because we can, you know, have some fun with the hood and that kind of thing and, and, uh, it, that's it. That's basically it. I don't know why I'm trying to come up with something else. Basically, it just it seemed like a fun character to draw, and I, I wanted to do it. That's really about it. Now, I've been... <laughs> I have been... I'm doing it again right here. I have having, been having a lot of fun with capes kind of flowing off this way, so I'm going to do it again, just kind of flowing out. Why not, right? Why is it flowing out? Because we want it to be. That's that's the thing. We don't have to explain anything. You know, it's we're the creators. We're the dreamers of the dreams. We're the ones who get to make this. So I just thought it would be fun to do something like that and and make her uh, um, with a flowing cape, right? Maybe the wind's blowing. Maybe maybe in this fairy tale version, her her uh, the wind is blowing right now, and so she is. Caught in a gust of wind. That's what we're gonna say. Now I'm gonna have her holding her basket, and this looks pretty good to me as far as positioning and whatnot, so I am going to start with some details here. And with these details, I think what I wanna do is give her like some, everybody draws like a little, I mean, she's a younger girl. I don't wanna say a little girl, but she's a younger girl. Everybody gives her like, you know, the, the traditional um, little dress, little tiny little girl dress, and all this stuff, you know, for the fairy tale. But I want to kind of give her like, I mean, she's she's going out in the woods, so I'm kind of arming her, so to speak. I'm kind of giving her some some. Uh, I don't know what the word is I'm really looking for here. I'm giving her some gloves, boots. Uh, I, I, like I said, I'm arming her. I'm getting her ready for this wolf battle she's going to end up having to do eventually. Like, she doesn't know. She doesn't know what's, what's going to happen. But uh, I'm just preparing her for She's about to go into the woods. And I'm giving her more than just a bonnet. You know what I mean? I like that. I like that. We're going to have a little fun with it. And since the wind is blowing our cape, whoosh, right, we'll do both sides. Like it's flowing something like this. I like that. I like that. Oh, let's draw the basket. So the basket, nothing, nothing crazy here. I just want to draw, you know, the basket she's got and that's it I was gonna draw like weapons in it you know or something like that but maybe later right now let's just do a simple simple red riding hood and you know we don't have to arm her to the teeth you know we'll keep it that simple but now that I see it I think I need to reposition that boot just a little bit because she's really leaning this way. Let me uh, let me fix that real fast. 
because the sketch worked out pretty well and I'm happy with it so I can take a few steps to make adjustments like making that a little smaller that's a big boot big boot I was gonna I was gonna say mix foot and boot so it was gonna be a boot or a, a butt but it's a, 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 f a boot foot, right? A butt. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let me give her some kind of face. I mean, I gotta... I gotta give her something, right? Um, let's see. So, we're just going to draw just a normal head. Good. And do you see when I'm doing this? I'm even doing like I should be at least one eye with the part. At least. I mean, those are just the general rules, the general guidelines. There is no specific, it has to be like this. This is just a general, well, if you look at the fake features of the face, they kind of look like this. They kind of are, you know, that kind of thing. They're kind of a, a eye with the way, stuff like that. It's nothing set in stone. It's not like, well, you drew it wrong. You'll be able to tell if you drew it wrong, but that's why you practice. These are just little things to help you. Um, get it right. And so I'm just going to, I'm, everybody always draws her with pigtails and whatnot. I think I'm just gonna draw our hair just kind of in here. We'll say it's long, you know, but whatnot, hanging out of her, her coat just a little bit. But for the most part, eh, I just I just got it in here, hanging out, you know. I think it'll be that simple. No, no pigtails, nothing like that. Just keep it that simple. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. I say we uh, get rid of some sketch lines and get going. That's pretty good. So. Here's what I like to do. When I first get started, I put down my initial sketch lines, and that's just placement lines, is all it really is. And those lines are real loose, and I'm just trying to get a gauge of, of where it's gonna be. Once I get more comfortable, I start pressing harder. And those is where, when I get more confident about the placement, that's when I press harder. And those are my confidence lines. So, I want my Sharpie to stand out, so I go back and I erase lightly, and that erases the sketch lines because it doesn't take much pressure, but it takes more pressure for the confidence lines and those stick around. So we're gonna be following our confidence, getting rid of our sketchiness. And that's how you live your life. You'll go far, accomplish great things, and tag me and show me what you're doing. I'll be very excited to see anybody who's watching this see what they do in their success in life. Okay, so I think I'm ready to go. I think Enough is gone that I can get going and see where we're going, and let's welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the sharpened portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but a pencil fire than a fine point. It can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority, that's super loud. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more fairy tale creatures, or just anything in general, check out the playlist because I do so many different drawings that I might have already drawn what you're looking for. So join in, have some fun, and let's get going. I've already explained why she is, how she is, so I'm just gonna dive right in and start with the eyelids. And draw something like this. I just wanna see if I got the placement right, angles and that kind of thing. It looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the retina, the color part of the eye. And at this point, we're so tiny that there's not a lot more I can really add because this is gonna bleed at this size. So I'm just gonna kind of hit the pupil just a little bit and that's it because anymore it's gonna, it's gonna bleed on itself too much. So for the bottom of the eye, I just come in just a little bit like that on each side. And then I add a little bit of an eyelash when it's a, a female eye just to thicken it up, just to show that there's a lash, right? I used to call it a cat eye, but really it's just to make a, a, an eyelash, just to make it a more feminine eye. 
There you go, not bad. Uh, so now I'm gonna draw a brow. We're just gonna draw a simple brow like that. Same thing over here. Okay, and again, anything else that's gonna start to bleed, so I'll let color take care of most of it. Hang on, I'm trying to fix that eye. Okay, good, good, good. I'm not even gonna draw the brow or any, or the bridge of the nose or anything like that because that's more of a contour. It's not a hard edge that you can see the edge of, you know, it's more of a flowing contour. So I'll do that with color. So let me draw her nose right around here. So the same thing, I'm just gonna kind of draw like that really, and that's all I can really do because anything else, again, it's gonna start to bleed. And, and I'll, let, I'll let color take care of the bulb and all that stuff, and, and that's good for me. So, let me draw her mouth. Something like that. Now I'm gonna try to draw some lips. Again, it's so tiny, I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's see what happens. So, for the bottom of the lip, I'm gonna do that. For the top of the lip, it may just be all solid black. Let's see what happens. Okay, I got a little bit in, I got a little bit in. Good, I, I'll take that, I'll take that. So, I'm gonna draw her jaw, her chin, and then draw her jaw. Now, you see I'm getting thicker here? When I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I'm trying to match how it's kinda going to be because I know where it's gonna go. I know what it's gonna do. So you don't have to do this if you're working with pencil. I'm just explaining to you why I draw, how I draw. Okay, and I'm gonna stop right about here because I'm gonna, I wanna draw the hairline in, which I think is gonna be covering her ears. So I'm gonna stop there and just uh, continue with what I'm doing. So I've got her with kind of a, like a little widow's peak. So it's like this, right? And then the hair's coming down over here. Kind of the same thing. And uh, not, not too bad, but you know, a little bit of something different. We don't always draw something like that. So I'm just kind of uh, making it a little different. Now, I've got hair flowing and the hood. So I need to kind of define a little bit of both, right? So I'm gonna have the hood like this, and it's gonna come down, and I want it to come out like this, but I'm gonna stop right about there because I want the hair to flow a little bit. And uh, let's try to do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna bring it down. I'm trying to see my sketch to make sure I got it right. Bring it down. Then let's draw some hair, like kind of flowing through, right? Just to show that it's kind of overlapping the hood. So now that I've defined that, I know my edge. Now I can play around with some hairlines. I'm not gonna draw all of them, but I wanna draw some. You know, I wanna have some fun with it because I like, hair. drawing hair is fun, but you know, I'm not gonna draw every hairline. We're not here to draw hair. We're here to draw, you know, the character. Now, now that I see what I can see, I can start to draw a few more lines. So, we'll say her ears back here like this. Her hairline's coming through here. And you see how basically I established a few things, then I added on. So I don't mind if I stop too early because I can always come back and, and fix it rather than not be able to because I, I drew too many lines, you know? Let's see, I want the inside of her hair kind of flowing through like this too. Do some curls on it. Not, but not too many. Like I said, I want to draw all the hair, but I shouldn't. All right, so if I get, sorry if I get a little quiet, but sometimes when I concentrate, I'm paying attention to what I'm doing and not talking. But that's okay, because you're not here to hear me talk, right? You're here to draw. Okay, so our hair is gonna flow back like that. And we're hitting kind of the edge of the, uh, um, what do you call it, the hood. So I can kind of blend into it just a little bit, right? All right, so let's do the same thing over here. Just draw some hair down. That one, see, we covered up the hair. So that, I specifically went into it just to make it different. It doesn't have to be the exact same on each side. And honestly, breaking it up like that makes it more unique. It doesn't look like 
like you uh, well I, w I want to say it doesn't look like you intended it to be like that but you you kind of need to intend it to be a certain way right you need to have a plan so you are intending it for it to, look, to look a certain way I'm just saying uh, I'm trying to create chaos is that the right word because it, I kind of want it to be um, all over the place right it's hair it's not it's not uh, well, I was going to say it's not combed or put perfectly, but we're just going to say that because it's Red Riding Hood and she's, you know, a maiden of the woods type kind of thing. She's riding, right? Okay, I said I wasn't going to draw all the hairs and here I am drawing all the hairs. I need to stop. So I'm going to switch over to the big Sharpie, do the rest of the hood. So we're going to say the rest of the hood is over her head like this and see how thick that is. That's what I was talking about, how I wanted to kind of match how it is. Now for the hair, I'm okay with it not being the same because um, it, it, the hair, I want it more fine. I want it more detailed, more, it's not a hard edge like this, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna bring the other one, I'm gonna come down like this, and this, I think I wanna do kind of like a little point. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up here, come into the, the, uh, um, the hood, that top part right there, kind of like this. And then let's give it like a little bit of a point, like it's hanging down like this. Right? So it's kind of hanging off to the side. Let me try to try to fix that just a little bit. Almost like it's is a, is a pointed hood off flowing that way, right? I mean, like I said, initially it is a hood, and it's it's a thread. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, so I have it hanging over her shoulders. So let's see. I'm going to kind of fluff it up a little bit because it is it is a, a material, and we're also we also need to like connect it like it's. It's tied right here, or however we're gonna we're gonna connect it, right? Same thing here. I kind of want it to. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I've got it flowing off this way. So let me draw this edge like this, and I'm gonna flow it out like that. See, the wind is kind of blowing it off. I've been having fun lately with with. Uh, Flowing capes. And then go on the shoulder coming off this way. Kind of flying as well. I want to connect that, but I'm going to do that with a smaller Sharpie to make it flow more. Because if not, it's going to be a thick edge. And again, if you're working with pencil, you don't have this problem. I'm just explaining to you my, my process. All right. Not bad, not bad. And uh, we don't really have to connect it. We can say, ooh, I'm gonna do this. I do want to see how thick all this is, kind of, again, defining a piece of cloth, something that's not as fine as a hairline. I'm gonna try to thicken it up just a little bit to separate it, to make it stand out from the hair, right? In other words, saying that's part of this, not the edge of her head. Make sense? Awesome. Okay, to be continued. So I've got her just her hands down holding her basket. So uh, her costume, I just made up. I didn't do anything very specific. Um, I just kind of made up where it might go. So we're gonna say her chest is like this, coming down to her, her waist, like that. And I, I have to draw what's in front first. And this chest is in front of this arm, but this arm is in front of this chest. So I'm gonna draw a sleeve. And I'm kind of making up a costume, like maybe a short sleeve, but then she's got a long sleeve underneath it. Coming down like this, and we're gonna say this is a, a glove edge. Right, so here's her elbow coming up like this. Let's go ahead and draw the glove. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw her hand, cause she's, I got her holding her basket. Her basket's in front of her. Something like that, okay? 
that does seem a little long now that I think about it, but that's okay. In in the uh, the grand scheme of things, it's it's dramatic. How's that? Okay, just giving a little bit of life to the glove. Now it is holding the basket handle, so that's why it's got a chunk out of it like that, because it's it's like this in so many words. Okay. Now. I kind of need to draw that basket, but I got to draw this hand too. So here's where it gets tricky. This body is in front of this arm, but here the arm goes in front of the body. So I'm going to bring the dress out like this. Now I'm switching over. Technically, I am now drawing the glove. All right. Into the hand like this. So let's draw this sleeve like that into the arm, into the glove. All right. Elbow glove like this and this is where it becomes the glove again holding the basket knuckles like that so see now it's going through so we're gonna say that's all you can see of the basket let's add some detail here does that make sense that uh, you got to draw what's in front first and that's why even though we started doing it like that a certain way it ended up changing a little bit because Eventually, not everything's in front of something. Sometimes things wrap around, you know, and it's like, well, you got to kind of accommodate for that. And I like, oops, I shouldn't have drawn into that line. I like drawing creases and folds to show that it's, it's a, it's a bendable material. It's not a hard edge. It's not armor. You know what I mean? Let's draw like almost like a, like a smaller skirt in front of this dress. And then I can draw some stress lines for the material here. Then we're going to say the dress is cinched together like this, like a waist. And we'll say maybe there's a string or something holding it together, but basically it's creating a waist. And uh, we're able to kind of define body parts, right? In so many words. Okay, so before I draw the dress and all that stuff, I want to draw her basket because again the baskets in front of the dress that simple so we're going to say the the handles going through like this is going to come down into the basket and i'm making this up 100 percent. so don't feel bad if if yours doesn't look like this at all i'm just saying well let's try it now here's the thing again we're drawing a basket but then i've got stuff in front of the basket in front of the basket in front of the basket so we're going to draw the uh cloth that's over it kind of hanging down like this which is over the edge so I'm gonna draw something like this there's the edge of the basket okay and I've already sketched it out so that's how I know the proportion of it so the edge let me try to show you here the edge is kind of like this Does that makes sense right and so the cloth is hanging over like that and then there's stuff inside here we don't know what it is you know just stuff for for grandma um but the the cloth is hanging over so i'm going to go ahead and do it some more of it here like this is the edge of the the basket but you can't see because the cloth is over it so again does that make sense what i'm trying to do to show you that we're drawing like the edge of it here this is in front of this which is in front of this which is you know what i mean it's that kind of thing so hear me out um, what's inside of this cloth underneath it is in front of the other edge of the basket because it's hanging over, right? It's, it's in front full of stuff. The handle is coming back like this and that's all you can see. Got it? Awesome. So now we're just going to draw the rest of it, bringing it down and disconnect it. So again, if you think of it as what's in front, then you draw what's behind. It gets complicated sometimes trying to do all that, but a good plan will get you a good drawing. And you can kind of figure out from there what uh, what will help you to plan and, and give you happiness, right? And I'm just drawing like stuff like it, that's in the uh, basket that that we can't see right stuff that's lumped in there all right so here we go so now i'm drawing her dress and it's just going to be hanging down like this and i've got it kind of layered so i'm going to do two layers so i'm going to draw 
something like this, another one here, like that, and let's see, over here you can't really see it because it ended up being behind the dress, or behind the, uh, the basket, so again, always draw what's in front, so when you draw what's behind, it's only so much you really have to do anyway. So we're going to say you can't even see that one, but you can see this one. Something like that. Okay. Again, we're going to draw some, some uh, uh, crease lines. Just to show that there's, there's something underneath there. There's bends in the cloth. But we're not going to do a bunch. We're just going to do a few. This color is going to take care of most of that anyway. So, Okay. So here we go. Close that off. Uh, I've got her wearing boots, so you can't really see her legs. We're just gonna say that. We're gonna say all you see are the boots, like this. This one's kind of pointed at you, so you're seeing pretty much a front view. This one's off to the side, so I'm gonna bring it down like this. There's the, uh, the heel. Here's the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring it back up something like that okay I'll add some detail in a second before I forget I want to do this cape or I'm gonna forget that I'm doing it so I've got it kind of flowing like this I need to bring it back because see how it's around her shoulder I I should have drawn it hanging but instead I drew it around the shoulder so we're gonna say that well then there's wind like we said a gust of wind blowing it so uh, it's pushed this way so that makes sense that it's wrapped around like that but I want it to come back a little bit so I'm gonna come back this way. Here's the front edge, like this. I'm gonna bring back around like this. Connect it. And then this edge is going back, flowing back this way, okay? So, don't draw through the boots. I'll add detail in a second. Like I said, I just want to make sure that I finish this up or I'm gonna forget it. I do it all the time. There's so many times I have to edit that. This oops, sorry. Come back and finish this. So there, see we got an awesome flowing cape. The wind is blowing, the wolves are out, but she is dedicated and headed to grandma's house. So let's give her some kind of detail for her boot. Some kind of dedicated. Um, we'll do some laces, let's do that. That'll kind of break it up and, and make it kind of awesome. Here's the front view. There's, I like drawing creases and folds in the boots to kind of show that there is wear and tear. Okay, now to break it up, I'm just gonna do very simple cross laces. Just we're gonna cross like this, that's it. That simple. See, it's not even perfect either, but it breaks up the negative space and gives her some kind of lace, right? Now, what I'm trying to do is make sure I cross the line each time. There we go. But there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So for fairy tales, that is Little Red Riding Hood. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with how I draw. Plus don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.